Okay, so number 34, essential learning outcome, Kayla, is given three points, find the equation of a quadratic. And what we're going to do here is we're going to take the skills from our last one, solving an equation with three variables, right, three equations with three variables, and we're going to put that all together. So I know the general equation of a parabola or a quadratic is y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. And then if I have three points, and that's also a graph of a parabola. So that's a quadratic equation, equation of a parabola as well. And if I have three points that sit on that parabola, I can find the specific equation of the parabola. So really, first thing you need to do is identify it. So I'm telling you it's a quadratic parabola. Number two is you need a general equation, like a roadmap, where you're going. Number three is you need to take those points and plug them in and create the equation. So I'm going to take this first point right here. This is x and y. I'll do this one in blue. So I'm going to take this value for x and plug it wherever there's an x, I'm plugging in that value for x. So negative 3 squared is 9. a plus b times x. So minus 3b plus c equals y. And y is negative 32. So this blue point is my first equation right there. Then my second equation I'll do in red. So I'm going to take this coordinate right here in red. For every x value, I'm going to plug it in for x. So I have 1 squared times a, 1a, negative, oops, sorry, negative 1 times b plus c equals y, negative 10. And then I'm going to create a third equation um, with this black point right here. And just like we've done with three equations and three variables, I'm just going to rewrite it over here. I take that 2 and plug it in to get 4a, well crowded here, plus 2 in there, 2b, plus c equals y, which is negative 7. And then I'm going to rewrite one of my first ones right over that one. So which one do you want to rewrite? rewrite? Which one do you want to rewrite? Blue or red? Uh, the red one. The red one. So I'm just going to rewrite the red one up here. 1a minus 1b plus c equals negative 10. And I, I missed a b right here. This is 2b. This is plus 2b. So now I have. Three equations, three variables. I'm going to combine the first and the second one. First and the second one to get a new equation. I'm going to combine the second and the third one to get a new equation. Then I'm going to take those two and combine them. So again, the goal is to eliminate one variable. So in this case right here, uh, I'm going to do blue minus red. So blue minus red is 9a minus 1a, 8a. Negative 3b minus one, negative 1b, so that's negative 2b. C minus c will cancel. And then negative 32 minus negative 10 is negative 22. Everybody get together? And then I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to combine my second and third equations. So. And that's going to cancel this C out. I do have to get rid of the same variable of both of them. So then I'm going to do red minus black, 1A minus 4A, negative 3A, negative 1B minus 2B, negative 3B, C minus C will cancel, negative 10 minus negative 7 is negative 3. So I've taken three equations down to two equations with two variables. What do you want to get rid of right here, uh, Walker? Um, wouldn't you want to get rid of the B? Yeah, B, it's kind of a 6 1, half dozen another. But so B is a good pick. To get rid of the B, I'm going to convert them into sixes so they'll cancel. I'm going to rewrite this black equation here. I'm going to multiply it by a 3 on both sides to get 24A 
minus 6b is equal to negative 66. Then on that green equation, I'm going to multiply it by a negative 2 on both sides to get 6a, uh, 6b, negative 2 times negative 3 is 6. Now I'm going to combine those two equations right there. The b's are going to drop out. Combine those two to get 30a. Those b's have dropped out. Negative 60. Divide both sides by 30 to get a is equal to negative 2. Now that I have a value for a, I could take that value for a, plug it into either equation. I guess I'll plug it right in there to get 6 times a plus 6b equals 6. Negative 12 plus 6b equals 6. I'll add 12 to both sides. 6b equals 18. Uh, so b is equal to 3. A value for a, value for b. <coughs> now I'm going to take both a and b and plug it in any of the original equations. I think I'll take this first blue one right here. So I have 9 times my value of a, negative 2, minus 3 times my value of b, 3, plus c equals negative 32. One equation, one variable. So now I just need to isolate that variable. Negative 18 negative 9 plus c equals negative 32, negative 27 plus c equals negative 32. I'll add 27 to both sides to get c equals negative 5. So from my general equation, I have solved a, b, and c. From my general equation, ax squared plus bx plus c, I have a specific equation. That specific equation is ax squared, a is 2, negative 2x squared plus bx, b is 3, 3x plus c, negative 5, and then y is equal to that. So again, the whole point of this is, given three points that sit on a parabola, be able to solve for the specific equation. And, and the use of this is, you know, if you collect data points and you can create a model that represents all the data, you can use that model for predictions. So you need to identify it, have a roadmap with your general equation, create the specific equation. There are three unknowns, so I need three equations. Any questions on that? Thank you.